Do your edits suck because you don't know how to make this blur transition? Well, don't worry, because after this video, you will know exactly how to make it in After Effects. Let's go! To start, I prepared two clips of Hannibal, and the first step is gonna be creating a new adjustment layer. So go to the top, click on Layer, New, and then select Adjustment Layer. The timing is gonna be important, so go to the point where your clips cut, and from here on, we wanna move 30 frames to the left. As you can see, I'm currently at 45 frames, so I'm gonna move my time indicator to the 15 frames mark. Cut the adjustment layer once by pressing Ctrl, Shift, and D, and delete the small part here. Go back to the point where the clips cut and I'll do the same thing in the opposite direction. So I'm also going to move 30 frames to the right and again cut the layer by pressing Ctrl Shift and D. Delete the rest and now we should be left with this one second long adjustment layer. We're going to duplicate this once for later by pressing Ctrl and D and to now actually create the animation we're going to go to effects and presets and search for the effect called BBC Lens Blur OBS. Drag it on the top adjustment layer and when we start hovering over the clips you will already see this kind of blur. Right now it looks like it's been made on goofy R cap cut so we're going to change the settings. First and most important, put the gamma from 220 up to 1000. As you can see, this will give us these bright spots. And then the second thing I like to change is put the quality from fast to sharper. Now we have to move our time indicator to the exact point where the clips cut and set a keyframe for the iris scale. The higher we go with this value, the bigger our blur is gonna get. In my case, I like to stick with the normal value, which is 15, but you can of course adjust this. Press U once to bring up the keyframe. And then we're gonna go to the start of our adjustment layer to set the iris scale back down to zero. Copy this keyframe by pressing Ctrl and C and then also paste it at the end of the adjustment layer. Now our blur will already be appearing, but because we want it to look a lot smoother, we're going to select the keyframes, right click, go to keyframe assistant, and then easy ease. Open up the graph editor, and the graph we want to use here is the following. Start off with the top handles and just drag them towards the middle like so. Now for the bottom handles, we want to extend them, so we're going to drag them towards the middle like this. Make sure you do this for both of the handles. And once your graph looks like this, you can close the graph editor, and when we play ahead, our blur should already be appearing. There's still one thing missing, because we also want to combine this with a nice shake effect, so it doesn't look that empty. That's also the reason why we created the second adjustment layer. And to add our shake effect, we're going to go to effects and presets and search for S underscore shake. Drag it on top of the bottom adjustment layer. And then right where the clips cut, we're going to set a keyframe for the amplitude. Put the value from 1 down to 0.5. And then also enable the check mark next to motion blur. And similar to the blur, we want to go to the beginning and then set our second keyframe at the value 0. Copy this once by pressing Ctrl and C. And then go to the end to paste it again by pressing Ctrl and V. Now select all of the keyframes and easy ease them. And inside of the graph editor, we want to do the same thing as earlier. So so start with the top handles and just extend them towards the middle. And then for the bottom handles, we're also going to drag them towards the middle like we did before. Close the graph editor. And one more setting you might want to change inside of the blur if you want it to be triangular is under the iris setting, the iris shape. Right now it's set to six sides. And if you want a triangle, you can just put this down to three sides, which as you can see when we zoom in, will give you this triangular blur. One thing I definitely recommend for this transition is adding a bright color correction, because as you can see, it will make our blur just stand out a lot more. And if you don't want to get my exact color correction, I used to make my edits look the best as possible make sure you check the first link in the description because i'm still running a huge sale in my shop and you can even save an extra 10 percent by using the code summer 10 don't miss out and if this video helped you make sure you like and subscribe i would really appreciate it watch this tutorial next if you want to learn how to make a nice circle transition thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time